It's story time, real fam. Hey, <laughs> welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Ntabi and this is a Real Talk with Ntabi, a channel where you can expect everything empowerment and transformation. So it's story time and I'm excited to be sharing this story with you. So I'm going to share with you how Avon company changed my life. Yes, you heard it. The Avon company, that beauty company, if you love beauty, if you love nails, uh, lipsticks and makeup and all of that, and if you are probably one of the sales reps, you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that little book that people will come to you um, and obviously asking you to buy perfumes, whether it's nail polish, lotions, all that shebang, all right? So if you remember that, that's what I'm talking about, that company. So I'm gonna share with you how it changed my life, all right? I hope you're ready. <laughs> I hope you're ready. So, all right, so where do I start? Now, something that you have to note, guys, is that this story that I'm gonna tell you, it's not like I've been prepared to like a scripted part of it. I'm just gonna share authentically so, like I usually do, just to tell you how it happened, what happened, and yeah. So enjoy this. And of course, if you are enjoying this and if you're gonna enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. And yeah, comment and share what your thoughts are after, obviously I've shared my story, right? because I don't want you to be commenting before you can even hear the whole story, okay? Let me stop blabbing, let me get to it. All right, so how did Avon change my life? So, now, a quick story. There was a time in my life where my parents were not able to send me enough money for me to be able to just do just about anything for myself. And it was a little bit hard for me because, you know, sometimes we expect, we expect so much for our parents and we expect them to be able to have just about everything that we want at the time that we want. And unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Now, as I was growing and maturing and mind you, so what happened was, so what had happened was I moved from um, closer to home, which was in the Northwest and moved to um, Gauteng province. So these are totally two differences, different provinces that are like far kilometers away from each other. All right. So I had to, to now be more responsible. So the minute I came this side, it was a little bit hard for me to get used to the fact that I'm far from home now but I eventually got used to it. Now, the nice thing about this is that what happened was I started realizing that I need to be to start being responsible and to somehow find a way to do something and not necessarily expect that my parents will just do everything for me. And it's obviously I'm relying on them, but it can, it's kind of difficult, especially if you're a student, because the first thing that you're going to ask yourself, where am I going to get the money? I'm not working. How am I going to even, um, you know, afford to even buy myself even those lotions or whatever, or just having food and all that or enough that you think you want? Because often enough, guys, um, we complain about the things that honestly, they were not really that much of a problem. And let me share a little story with you and I'll just be brief because the, the, the story that I'm going to share is quite long, but I'm just going to quickly be brief. So this is what happened. Um, so when I started university, um, I think it was during my second year. So what happened was in my room, I had a plate. I, mean, I had what? I had a pack of potatoes. I had Movite. Um, I'll put a picture here so that you can see what Movite is. I had Maelstrom soup and I think half bread in my room, okay? So it was after school. I think it was on a Friday afternoon if I remember vividly. And then this guy stopped his car and somehow approached me and asked to take me out on a kind of a date or something like that. And 
you know when he was saying all of that i'm like it's after school it's friday so it's weekend i'm gonna get home what am i gonna do i don't even have a tv so part of me was like mm, actually go and i was thinking okay yeah i'll probably have a nice meal and all that and guess what i jumped in the car i jumped <laughs> in the car and went with this guy and we we went to a restaurant and i remember i ordered a plate of steak and chips and guess what i finished that plate i didn't even leave one chip i finished everything and i remember that hey, in my room i've got what <laughs> movite potatoes mushroom and half bread right so i finished that plate and the conversation continued and all that and obviously the guy was trying to show interest asked for my numbers did i disagree I gave him my numbers i gave him my numbers all right and at the time it's like okay i just met this guy it wasn't like there's something going on or something like that but you can see that there's some kind of intention from this guy right okay fast forward um the end of the date the guy decided to give me 100 rand so with that 100 rand he's like okay um just take this you'll see what you do with it the excitement in me i'm like oh my word 100 rand <laughs> yes and yes um he dropped me home he took my numbers of course called me i arrived safe blah 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 all right monday um i'm at school my friend we're still friends still now still today yes um I started telling my friend that hey my friend this is what happened i met this guy this is what we did i ordered what 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 this was the date and all that so this friend of mine is a guy so if you can remember one of my videos if you're consistently watching my videos out i've told i've said this a lot that i've most of my high school and tertiary i hanged out with guys more um yeah most of majority of my friends were guys and especially because of the nature of the course that i was doing um it like it was more male dominated so that's basically what i was doing and yeah anyway fast forward i told my friend about all of this and then you know he started asking and then we now going to it's it's lunch time we're going to buy gotas if you know what gotta is i'll try to get a picture and it's here if i got it okay i uh, got us so we bought that and with that very money and as we were eating he's like why are you so excited about this person why are you so excited do you even know his intentions do you even know what this person wants uh, from you is he serious you know all of those things and they, those things didn't matter to me because in my mind i'm thinking okay probably the next date he's probably going to give me 200 rand i mean think about it so now i'm already shifting my focus and now i want what i want money i'm focusing on money i want more from what i got right excuse me so what will that mean that will probably result to me still going out on dates with him and to entertain his request because he showed interest in me right and obviously the first date is like no i he'll play it safe you see so my friend started talking to me like just be cautious you can't just be too excited about this person you know you are from the northwest you just came here and you don't even know people here you just know a few and everything but just be careful and all that listen what he was saying was getting into one ear and then out i was not even paying attention fast forward um i get to my room and i'm home and now i start thinking about this i start thinking about what my friend was saying and it's starting to click in my head that so actually now this is going to be a routine because i have now some kind of expectation so if this guy um somehow still pursues because i have one something that i want also i'll probably agree and buy into what he wants right the fact that he probably wants us to date of that's basically what he wanted yeah duh. he wanted us to date right so if i um what entertain him and expect that i'm gonna get more money it means that i will have to buy into what he's saying correct 
yeah okay so fast forward i thought about it i started thinking about it i'm like you know what what i'm trying to do is risky and something about me you know i'm a late bloomer in terms of being fearful when it comes to guys and everything so at the time i was probably 21 if i'm not mistaken 21 or 22 actually i think 22 i was probably 22 and yes i've dated even um, before i was 22 you know i'm not gonna act like i was not dating then but like i was still you know that shy type you i was not easily bought into a relationship or something like that all right um so fast forward i started thinking about that i started thinking about it i'm like no man what if i keep entertaining this person and i lose focus on why i'm here why i'm at school and all that all right so it started bothering me it started bothering me and i started now trying to distance myself even when he calls i'll just make excuses or something like that just just to avoid that kind of engagement all right so now you might be thinking but maybe the poor guy had good intentions and everything but you know what um if, even if he he might have had those good intentions um i had to think about what my intention was because now the fact that already in my mind i'm thinking of what i can benefit there was no mutual interest or of me wanting to be with him or something like that you get my point so i would probably do something because i want money all right so okay so now you're probably wondering, Tabi, we hear your story. So how did Avon change your life? So Avon changed my life when I was approached by this lady. And I don't even remember how I met her. Um, she's just an amazing lady. I even, was it Margaret? I even forgot her name. It's been a while. It's a long time ago. All right. She approached me and asked me to join Avon. I think they came to school for some reason or tried to recruit people to join Avon and everything. So she recruited me to join Avon. And at the time I was like, okay, how does this thing work? She gave me the flyers, the forms and all that. And she said, okay, let's meet when, when and what not. So I took time to decide. And then eventually I bought into to that and of course they would bribe you uh, by okay maybe not necessarily bribe you but um, interest you by giving you a couple like products I think she gave me I think it was a roll on or I think it was a lotion and a body spray I, yeah I think that was that and she explained gave me the book and all of that and she said no maybe even try and ask even the friends or your friends just to find out if they have interest in buying then you can fill in the form you meet with me and i take it and then we're done all right so fine i join avon now when i join avon this is why i decided to join avon or to eventually buy into that when that lady approached me and something that you need to understand is that um at the time i had already made my decision to say you know what i'm not gonna entertain guys or i'm not gonna find myself in a situation where i entertain people based on what i'm i want or what i cannot have because there was a little bit of frustration um with the fact that my parents used to send me 500 rand and i had to pay 350 rand at i mean the commune that i was staying in meaning the rest of the money i had to see what i eat what i wear which is like what what can you do with 150 right so it was so less that i could do but now the question comes did the movite kill me if i ate it every day because that's basically what used to happen in the morning in the afternoon in the morning if i have a break in between i come because i wasn't far from school i would walk literally walk five minutes or less if i run it's like two minutes okay and then in the evening sometimes i would have the same thing right did it kill me no it didn't kill me was there anything wrong with it no was there anything wrong with the bread that i was eating no there wasn't right so i was just trying to find uh, my my comfort space of wanting to have all the, the, the amazing food um, that I want, the English breakfast and my Jew, I'm there to study. I'm not there to just have fancy food and all that. I should just appreciate what I have and what my parents could do. That's basically what I had to do. But did I do it at the time? 
I was obviously thinking about more money that I could get. And I'm thinking, you know, Mr. Price, especially back then, you can get a hectic sale where you go in and you can even get a jean with like 80 bucks or a t-shirt but 20 rand or something like that so it's like i was thinking of okay maybe if it's 200 that 100 rand i can do something with it i used to do my own hair and buying a hair piece it's called yaki bulk i don't know if you remember that yaki bulk i would obviously buy it 65 rand or something and then i would plant myself a wool was like five rand or something like that so it wasn't that bad now even changed my life because i got an opportunity to now start selling avon and making commission out of it because how avon works is that you would um, obviously have a starter pack for example of a certain amount and all that and um after selling and everything there is a certain amount that you'll have to pay to avon and you keep the rest so let's say for example the fact that i was a sales rep if i sell a product and it's 100 rand um avon probably gives me a discount of like 20 or 25 rand for example all right so i get to keep the commission and it went and went and i got customers and i was so disciplined and kept pushing it because it was also benefiting me in so many ways i never ran out of perfume um anything to do with i mean i've never been a makeup person but obviously i would have like lipstick um nail polish yes i would have perfumes i would have like eyeliners that i didn't even know how to use them sometimes mascaras because i think sometimes i needed to do that so that when i tell people that buy this mascara i've also tried it you know just to have that good sales representation so yeah that's basically what happened um but I, I never ran out of anything especially we know that cosmetics <laughs> cosmetics can be very expensive we know that cosmetics can be very expensive so that for me was a bonus to say the only thing i need to buy is is to buy what soap sometimes i didn't even need to buy soap because even had bath soaps and all that uh, i mean foam baths and all that right so i could buy that instead of buying soap and then i would get discounted and it will last longer i would have lotions all that and it went on and on to a point where i even recruited more people to join in um and the me and all that and i even got to to what so it's a it's a you are you become a sales person and then you you become what a sales representative where now you start getting a bonus so if you have people under you and they do well you know how recruitment works right if you have people under you and they keep doing work it's the same as like similar to like other uh, what companies you have a life and everything how you would end commission and end your bonus and everything so my team was doing amazingly well and trust me like we were doing so great because i had a lot of people under me and they were doing amazing and i would get like at the end of the month i would probably get like a bonus of like a thousand and all that so i never never ran out of um anything i was able to buy myself bread i never went to bed hungry because that commission was helping me to be able to even buy the little things that um, I couldn't do. And if my parents at the time were not able to do something for me, I could do it for myself. All right. So what am I saying or what what is the takeaway or what I wish for you to take away from my story? And of course, what Avon did for me is that as much as you could be your parents responsibility there will be times in your life where they are not able to do certain things for you so for you to be able to break free from worry and stress and just focus on your studies because this is what i also used to do i would actually have a pack of the products in the library and i would have business card i had business cards printed unfortunately i don't have like pictures that i i have with you know when i was selling and everything i could actually show you but i know people that can testify to that and i i can try to bring them on board if you guys want that but it's it's a long time ago that was the beginning of my tertiary i mean i've i've graduated years ago so you you get my point now 
what I want you to take from this is that there will be times where you will not be able to 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 get what you wish you can you can get from your parents and you should learn to actually appreciate what you have when you have it and appreciate even the little thing that you had someone did not have even bread or even that movite but i was complaining about the movite and everything you get my point so my um wish for you is to just appreciate where you are and try to understand that you will have to be responsible at some point in your life you will have to take responsibility and allow yourself to find something that can also help you to help yourself and to help your parents at the same time or to help whoever who is your guardian or who is ever who is taking care of you all right so that is my plea that is what i'm hoping that you are taking out of uh, this video so now i can go on and on because this story is pretty long um there's yeah i've got i've got a lot of uh tertiary stories but something i admire about my stories is that um, a lot of them when i share them it's inspiration to you it's not me to somehow take you back or to open up my closet so that you can come and judge me or somehow you know start questioning myself or how i lived my life and everything but it's for me to say i'm sharing something I'm actually hoping that you can take out a page from my book and apply it on your life or uh, see value in what I'm saying because that's why I'm here. At the end of the day, I'm here to empower you and transform you. That's what I'm about. So yeah, let me not continue. So what I can say is that Avon South Africa, thank you so much for really being able to give me the opportunity to really be a part of your team. Yes, I stopped selling for some time. I mean, I stopped selling a couple of years back because I had to now focus on work and everything so i couldn't yes you can juggle both some did that but i couldn't at the time but i am still appreciative of that opportunity and of course that lady who helped me in terms of join of helping me to join or recruiting me to join avon all right so sometimes when people to recruit you to join something sometimes it's not just because they want to make money or they want to add people just under you but it's mainly because they, there is something that they're, they're you know they're probably um answering in your life and i believe that that lady did not even know what was happening in my life so she was god's she was god sent at the time because i was able to now shift my focus from you know focusing on wanting guys to do things for me and focus on doing things on my own and fast forward i was able to start working and be able to even take my card go to that uh, restaurant buy myself whatever meal even the more most expensive meal from that one that i actually got which was a dry steak and chips well it wasn't dry but i'm just exaggerating <laughs> yeah but you get me right so yeah i'm appreciative and god bless him for 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 helping or for buying me or, or helping me with the food for that day may god bless him i know that a couple of years as i was growing i had a negative attitude uh towards that but i never just said thank you because i think we need to appreciate even though um he had certain in intentions and everything but i'm grateful that god sent him to be able to <laughs> what buy me the plate of steak and chips and may he continue to bless him and i hope that he's good i don't even remember him <laughs> like i hope that all oh, is fine and 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 all right so yeah guys that is basically it that is basically it so i hope you took something out of this if of course there's something that stood out one point that stood out for you from this video please comment and share or share your experience and tell me <coughs> what you think or what you thought of it come on comment now and don't forget to like this video of course all right so with that said love you fam Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. May we continue to grow this amazing platform. May you continue to being a part of this family because it inspires me to keep going and keep pushing. And I appreciate you, of course, for even watching until this very point. Guys, you don't know how much it means to me because you are helping me to get closer to being monetized, you know? And as much as the main focus is to give value, not necessarily to 
um, what focus on monetization and all that at this very point but I'm still saying that I can see growth and when you see growth you're inspired to do more so keep doing what you're doing and the new family thank you so much welcome to the real fam you are at home there's so much love here and if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for subscribe honey subscribe subscribe <laughs> okay with that said love you always until the next video or live i'm out of here all right <laughs>